What's up, Jaguars? Ralph Jaguar is here, and I'm back with another web series. And this is brought to you by Ralph J Images, the brand name that always bring you the epic web series. Is it web series or web series? You know, when there's a whole bunch of them. Now, who cares? Well, let me tell you about this one, okay? Because as some of you may know, but then again, a lot, of you, a lot of you may not know. I like to write stories, you know, my own versions for my favorite TV shows. And yes, I do write stories for fanfiction.net. You know, a lot of people already know what that is. That's a website where you can go and write stories for your favorite TV shows and get it published. But what I'm going to do right here is write, write, make up the stories, write it out for you, and then I'm going to read it for all of you and put it up here on YouTube. And what's going to happen is I'm going to read it all to you, okay? And I'm going to start with Shake It Up Fan Fiction. That's right, my favorite TV show. And what you have to understand is these stories that I'm, that I'm about to read to you it's written in my own version. This is me, Ralph Jaguar, doing it my way. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, here is the very first story that I wrote for fanfiction.net for, for my favorite TV show, uh, Shake It Up. Yeah, for Shake It Up. You know, just before it was canceled on the Disney Channel. And I, yeah, I titled it uh, Faithful. And here's the summary. Cece and Ty have been dating for about a week and everything is going good with the relationship. But, but after Cece has been blowing Ty off, and avoiding hanging out with him, Ty begins to suspect the worst, that Cece is cheating on him. You will want to read, critique, and review this story. It's ready T and has a shocking ending. And the pairing is CY and Reese. Ready T, like I've already mentioned, is in English. This is romance and drama with uh, three chapters. Main characters of this story are Rocky Blue, CC Jones, and Ty Blue. Okay, let me do the disclaimer here. I don't own Shake It Up or any of the characters. But this story is being told in my own version, like I've already mentioned. The details here will be different than some that's on the show. So on fanfiction.net, you will want to give it a fair chance and review it. Thanks. Okay, here is chapter one, CC and Ty. And this is in Ty Blues, POV. And you all know what POV stands for, right? Point of view. Here we go. All right, the bus is finally at the school, St. John's High School. A whole bunch of kids are entering the building of education and are headed to their classes. But not me. Well, not yet anyways. I gotta see my girl first. Yup, CC and I have been going out for about a week now. Even though we haven't sealed the deal with a kiss yet, I think it's safe to say that it's official. CC Jones is my girlfriend. That sounds so, so good. Rocky is CC's BFF. So all this must be rather strange for her, 
and was hard to accept. But, but Rocky came around. I knew she would. She's my favorite sister. Actually, Rocky is my only sister. I'm going through the hallway here wearing my usual gray vest, black pants, white shirt, and patented tie. And there is my girl, and there she is. My girl, Cece, is at her locker with my sister, Rocky. Cece is looking so hot wearing her stockings, shirt, pink shorts, and pink Nike shoes. And Rocky is wearing the exact same outfit that Cece is wearing. They've been wearing the same thing for days now. What's up with that? What's up, sis? CC? I ask as I lean on the locker real close to my girlfriend and I take her hand. Oh, hey, Ty. CC says as she smiles and holds my hand. But I expected a little better greeting, but whatever. So, CC. Deuce and Dina are gonna go see the new Iron Man movie tonight. The sequel, Iron Man 2. They want us to join them and make it a double date. So how about it? Uh, no can do, babe. I got to work on my homework tonight and Rocky's gonna be helping me out with, with it. So maybe later this week, CC asked, actually CC, we got a lot to do this week, so it might be a while before we can even think about catching a movie, says Rocky. So, what you saying? You both gonna be busy all week long? I curiously ask. Looks like it, says CC. Yeah, and there's also our history oral report. Let's do this Friday. Rocky says as she grabs Cece's arm and pulls her with her. We need to go ahead and get going to class. You better do the same, Ty, says Rocky. Talk to you later, Ty, says Cece. Wait, I shout as I hold on to Cece's hand and lean into her face. Uh, no, Ty, says Cece as she puts her other hand up in front of my face before my lips even come close to touching hers. Not yet, okay? Let's go, Rocky. Cece says as she and my sister walk away. <sighs> what the heck, man? Damn! Deuce shouts as he approaches me. Yeah, there's no way to miss my boy Deuce. He'll stand out in any crowd with those odd big eyebrows of his and the headphones that he always has around his neck. He's still my boy though. So Todd, Cece still won't let you kiss her. Nah, and worse, and worse, she been blowing me off for the past few days, man. Ain't giving me no time, man. Saying that she's always busy with homework and stuff. I complain to Deuce. Since when does Cece Jones like likes doing homework. The CC that I know never likes doing homework. I mean, she does do it whenever Rocky gets on to her about it, says Deuce. She does have to keep her grades up or she's off, off of Shake It Up Chicago. I get that. But she be spending all her free time with Rocky. Something else is going on, man, I say to Deuce. Like what? You think Cece is cheating on you? Well, she just blew me off again. I told her that you and Dina wanted to double date with us to see Iron Man too. Then she said that she and Rocky was gonna do homework and work on their or their history or report or something. Funny thing is. It was Rocky that brought up the history or report thing. So it could be that Cece is cheating on me and Rocky is covering up for her. I explain. I don't know, Ty. 
You could be jumping to conclusions, says Deuce. Well, what other explanation is there? Rocky is always with CC, and CC is always blowing me off for something, man. If she is playing me, I'm going to find out. Deuce, you got a camcorder, right? Yeah. What you need it for? If CC is playing me like a chump, I want to catch her in the act and get it on tape and put her on blast. Spy time is tonight. We follow both CeCe and Rocky. Tonight? Oh man, I can't do it tonight. Dina and I are going to go see Iron Man too, even though you and CeCe are not going to join us, says Deuce. Come on, Deuce. This is your boy here, man. I need your help. Just tell Dina that you got to help me with something important that just came up. Come on, Deuce. Grow a pair. You owe me anyways after all the times that I've been helping you out with stuff. <sighs> Alright, man. I'll tell Dina that I can't go out with her tonight. And maybe we can catch a later show, says Deuce. Alright, I appreciate that, man. Oh, crap. Here comes Dina. Time to man up to your Latina girlfriend. Let's see if you can do it for your boy. Hey Ty and Ducey. So Ty, are you and Cece going to be joining us tonight when we go see Iron Man 2? Dina asked. Nah, some stuff came up. Cece's got homework and I'm working on something and I'm going to need Deuce's help with it, I say. So we won't be able to catch tonight's show. But we can catch another show, says Deuce. But Deucey, I really want to go see Iron Man 2 tonight. Dina whines, but we can't, Dina. I really want to, but we can't. Ty's thing is really important, my boy says. <laughs> it really is, Dina, but don't worry. You'll get to see Iron Man 2. We guarantee it, I say to Dina. You both guarantee it? Asks Dina. Absolutely, girl, says Deuce. All right, I'm holding you to it. If I don't get to see Iron Man 2, I'm going to be real pissed. And trust me, that is not good, boys, Dina says with a smile. Jeez. All right, there's the bell. We better get to class. I say as Deuce leans into Dina. But then Dina slaps Deuce in the face before his lips even gets close to hers. Damn. Ow. Dang, woman. Deuce says. Deuce shouts. Now, Deucey, you know we don't do that in public. See you later, says Dina as she goes off to her class. Yeah, Cece won't let me kiss her either. I say to Deuce, but at least Cece doesn't slap you. Deuce shouts. About two hours later, still in Thai Blue's POV. I'm supposed to be in my math class now. I told my teacher that I had to use the bathroom, but instead, I'm at the school's library, and shockingly enough, I see Cece sitting at a table like she's waiting for somebody. Cece's supposed to be in English now. Who the heck is she waiting for? The chump that she's cheating on me with? Like any guy can compare it to this? This girl needs to recognize. Hold up. Now Rocky walks away. No, Rocky walks in and is sitting down next to Cece. They're both opening their books, but Rocky is the one that's reading her book. Hmm. No, no surprise there. Man, Cece and Rocky aren't really chatting it up. I know that they're probably working on their history report. But the report can't be that interesting for the girls to be laughing and giggling about it. I'm sick of this waiting. I'm going to go over there and see what I can get out of my girlfriend and sister. 
What's up, sis? And sis, I say to them, Hey, Ty, why, why are you here in the library? CC asked. I was looking for a book, but I but couldn't find it. So, I guess you two are working on your science project that's due this Thursday? I say to them, No, we don't have a science project that's due this Thursday. We have an oral history report that's due this Friday. Rocky explains. Dang! I remember that earlier today. They did say that it was a oral history report. I just said science project to see if they will slip. But it looks like they got their story straight. If they're hiding something, they sure are hiding it well. I gotta get to my next class, says Cece. Which is, I ask, math. CC answers, don't you mean English? I ask, no, I mean math. My English teacher gave me a hall pass so I could come here and work on my thing with Rocky. I don't have to go back to my next, to my English class. She said it was okay. I can just go to my next class. CC explains, who said it was okay? I asked with a suspicious look on my face. Uh, my English teacher, Miss Goody, Cece explains, and she said it was okay to do what? I ask, work on my oral history report. Ty, what is with you and all in this all of a sudden interrogation? CC asks, annoying, annoyed. Shh, quiet. This is a library, Miss Burke says. I'm just trying to figure out why my girlfriend keeps avoiding me, I respond. Avoiding you? You think I'm avoiding you? Ask CC. Well, that's what it looks like. We haven't gone out in days. I really miss you, sis. Look, I know that you're busy, but you gotta make some time for me, girl. I'm your man, I say to CC firmly. Look, Ty, you do mean a lot to me. But it's not my fault that I'm busy with, with lots of stuff. You really need to get over yourself, says Cece as she starts to walk away. Hold up. I say as I grab Cece's arm. You know I gotta get me some sugar now, I say as I lean in close to Cece. Cece puts a hand up in front of my face and stops me. No. I'll talk to you later, Cece says as she walks away. Dang, she gave me the hand again. I say, shh, quiet, Miss Burke says again. Man, she's annoying. I sit down at the table next to Rocky. So what's up, sis? Look, Ty, Cece's got a lot going on right now. She's really struggling with her classes, and you know that she has to work hard for the show says Rocky. So that's what's going on? CC is just busy with stuff? I say. Well, what do you think is going on? Rocky asks. I'm trying to find out what's going on. I was really hoping you'd help me out with that, Rocky. Well, I just told you what's going on. CC's got it tough. That's why I'm spending a lot of time helping her says Rocky. But maybe a little too much time, I respond. What's that supposed to mean, Ty? Says Rocky. When Cece and I got together, you didn't really approve of us dating, I respond. Well, of course I'm really skeptical about that. My best friend for life and my brother dating each other is really awkward and very hard to accept. Not to mention weird, Rocky explains. Might be at first, but you know me, Rocky. I'm really good to CC. I treat her right, and I bought her stuff, good stuff. But then, one, she keeps looking for excuses to avoid me, and two, she refuses to kiss me. What the heck is up with that? I ask, well, don't you think that's moving a little too fast? You and CC have only been going out for about a week, Rocky says. 
actually, in the past few days, we haven't been going out at all. Cece's been too busy to spend any time with me. But when it looks like she is free, she be with you, Rocky. <sighs> is there something you want to tell me? I ask. No, there's nothing to tell, Ty. And no, Cece is not seeing another guy. I knew that's what you were thinking. She says. Really? I ask. Yeah, really, says Rocky. Look, Rocky, you are Cece's BFF. You'd do anything for her, and vice versa. I know you're very loyal to her, and that's good. I'm loyal to you too, Rocky. I'm here for you, and I'm always looking out for you. I'll help you in anything. You know that. And I need you to help me too. So if you know something, you gotta tell me. I say, I am here for you too, Ty. I care about you a lot. I have to go to class, Rocky says as she stands up. Just remember, Rocky, CC may be your BFF, but I'm your brother. Your real loyalty lies with me, I shout as Rocky walks away. Shh, quiet, Miss Burke says again. Oh, crap. Here comes the Hassan Heifer twins, Tinka and Gunter. They always wear matching outfits like Cece and Rocky are doing now. And Tinka and Gunter hang out together more than Cece and Rocky does. And that's scary. Hello, baby. They both shout at the same time and loyally. Uh, this is a library, guys. I remind the twins. That's right. This is a library. And you need to quiet down as well. Miss Burke says to me. So, how are things going with you and Cece, Ty? Tinka asks. That's what I'm trying to figure out. We haven't, been, we haven't hung out together in days. Cece is always busy with stuff like homework and rehearsing for the show. She hasn't been giving me any time at all. I mean, there's always an excuse, I explain to the weird twins. Wait. Why exactly am I explaining this to the weird twins? Something is not right, says Tinka. Something is definitely on the ups. Cece is hiding something, says Gunter. And Rocky may be helping her hide it, I say. But she's your sister. Rocky should tell you what's going on, says Tinka. I hate to say it, bro, but I think Cece is cheating on you says Gunter. The signs are all there, Ty, says Tinka. And you know the old saying, what it is, is what it is, says Gunter. That may be, but I need to know for sure. Not to mention, get some hard facts. All right, I gotta get to class, I say as I walk away. Good luck, Ty. With Cece as a girlfriend, you'll need it, says Tinka. Shh. Quiet, Miss Burke says again. And that is the end of chapter three. Wait, that is the end of chapter one. All right. Now is chapter two, spy time. Chapter two, spy time. And we are still in Thai Blues POV. I'm sitting up in my room. You know, I'm sitting up in my room on my bed, holding my pencil and notepad. The moon is shining bright and the uh, night. I'm supposed to be writing a song. Usually, I would have no problem writing this song. But for some reason, I just can't get over the fact that CC might in fact be cheating on me. Right now, CC is with Rocky and CC's room doing homework. At least 
I hope that's what they're doing. I just wonder, who the heck could the other guy be? Is it someone in our school? Frankie the, compli Frankie the Complication? One of those football or basketball jocks? Or is it one of my friends? Could it actually be Deuce? No, Deuce is my boy. He would never, he would never do that to me. Or would he? It most definitely can't be Logan. He's going to become CC's stepbrother soon. And if they're messing around, things would definitely be weird. Oh man, it can't be Gunter. It just can't be. He's way too weird for CC. And if she's going to cheat on me, she got to do a lot better than Gunter. Hold up, my phone is ringing. Hey, what's up, Flynn, man? The ducks have less have left the nest. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, Flynn. I know it's cold. I get it. Did they say where they were going? To see a movie, huh? You did good, little man. You'll get your five bucks. Don't worry. All right, I'll talk to you later. Now to text Deuce. It's pie time. Meet me in f out in front, and don't forget your camcorder. Deuce and I are now out in the dark, dressed in dark clothing. I got my black shirt and dark blue pants, and Deuce is wearing his black leather jacket, shirt, and pants. We both got shades on. Yeah, we're looking real smooth. At least, well, at least I am. Deuce bought his camcorder. Tonight may be the night that we find out what's going on. We got both CC and Rocky in sight. We're following but staying far, far behind. Out of sight. Check it out, Ty. They're going into that movie theater, Deuce says. Yeah, that's probably where they're going to meet CC's other guy, I say. But we don't know that for sure, says Deuce. Why else would they go to the movies, man? Cece wouldn't go see Iron Man 2 with me, you and Dina. But she will come here and meet some chump, I say angrily. There's only one way to know for sure, says Deuce. Yep, by following them inside, I say as we go into the theater. Deuce uses his binoculars and watch Cece and Rocky at the front ticket booth. So, what kind of movie are they gonna see? I ask. The Walking Undead, says Deuce. The Walking Undead? I ask surprisingly. It's a scary movie about zombies, Ty. Yeah, I kind of figured that from the title. Well, let's find out how scary it is, shall we? I say, Deuce and I get two tickets for The Walking Undead. It's kind of expensive, but not but not a real problem. Being the host of Shake It Up Chicago has its advantages. We go into the same movie room that Cece and Rocky went into. I see them in the third row. Deuce and I sit a few rows behind them and get a perfect view of my girlfriend and my sister. Deuce should be here any minute. Don't pull out your camcorder yet. I don't want you to get caught with it by one of the ushers. Wait until Deuce's other guy get here and then get it on video. And then we'll put them both on blast. I explained to Deuce. 30 minutes later, Ty, Ty Blue's POV. It's been 30 minutes now. Where's this guy at? Deuce asks. I don't know. He may be running late, I say. But this late? I ask. Deuce asks Deuce. This is turning out to be some movie. I guess Cece would rather watch it with this other guy instead of me. Huh? What? This guy is special or something? What's so special about him? I ask. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when he gets here. 
if he gets here, says Deuce. Forty minutes later. Man, it's been an hour, Deuce. And Deuce still hasn't gotten here yet, I say. I notice that Deuce is staring at Cece and Rocky in a strange way. Deuce, what gives, man? I ask. You know, Rocky and Cece are sitting awfully close to each other, says Deuce. They're BFFs, man. They always sit that close to each other, I say. I look at Cece and Rocky and... <sighs> yeah, they sure are awfully close to each other. Like they're cuddling and hugging. Cece just got scared by that zombie on the screen and Rocky is holding and comforting Cece while she whispers in Cece's ear. Rocky just kissed Cece on her head. Uh, do, do BFFs do that? Asks Deuce. I don't think so, I answer. Cece is now resting her head on Rocky's shoulder. And Rocky has her arm around Cece, and she's rubbing Cece's arm. Yeah, she's rubbing Cece's arm. Yeah. Rocky is definitely holding Cece like she's her baby or something. You know, like a guy would hold his girlfriend at the movies, says Deuce. What's with Cece? Cece is getting up and, uh, Cece just sat on Rocky's lap and Rocky's holding Cece like she's holding a baby. What the heck? Uh, Cece is sitting on Rocky's lap. Todd, says Deuce. I see that, Deuce, and she's also resting on Rocky's neck, I say. Okay, I'm sitting in the movie theater, confused as hell, and OMG, whoa, Deuce shockingly says. Cece and Rocky are kissing. They are kissing. Cece is actually pressing her lips on Rocky's lips and their tongues are obviously in each other's mouths. Oh my God, I say out loud, but not too loudly. Man, I am sitting here in total shell shock, watching Cece and Rocky make out hardcore. I look at Deuce as he pulls out his camcorder and points it at Rocky and Cece as they put on a show for everyone here at the movie theater. And it's and it's not just Deuce and I who are looking at Cece and Rocky kissing each other passionately, but everyone else is watching them too. No one is watching the movie on the screen. And why should they, when my sister and my girlfriend are given a live perform performance of their own love show? Dang. You getting all this, Deuce? Yep. I got it. All of it, says Deuce. All right, man. Mystery solved. We better dip out before they notice us. I don't want to watch any more of this anyway, I say. Actually, Ty, I think this is kind of hot. Cece and Rocky are looking real good, says Deuce. Hey, man, that's my girlfriend and my sister, man. Let's go, I say. I try not to say. I try not to say it too loudly. We walk out as Cece and Rocky continue to make out with each other. <sighs> Later, in Thai Blues POV, POV, I'm in my room right now, laying on, on the bed, trying to sleep in my white jammies. But how the heck am I supposed to sleep after what I just saw at the movies earlier tonight. Funny thing is, it wasn't the movie on the screen that freaked me out. It was rather the movie that Cece and Rocky put on that freaked me out. 
and I didn't even see that crap coming either. Yeah, CC was in fact cheating on me, but I thought that she was cheating on me with a guy. But no, she was cheating on me with a girl. And that girl is my sister, man. My sister. I'm trying to make sense of all this crap. Deuce and I got it on tape, but we still can't make sense of this. I can't believe that Cece is a lesbian. I can't believe that my sister is a lesbian. How the heck am I supposed to deal with this? My girlfriend. My girlfriend with quotes on it. Or my would-be girlfriend is dating my sister. This is weird. Actually, it's not even weird. It's jacked up, man. I'm really freaking out here. I got this crap on my mind and it's driving me crazy. And Rocky, oh man, this is my sister that I'm very close to. And I had absolutely no idea that she was a lesbian. Dang. Why didn't she tell me? Why didn't she talk to me about this? Rocky knows that she can come to me about anything. Well, at least I think she knows that. What? She thinks that I was going to tell mom and dad? This is deep crap right here. I'm also thinking about that comment that Deuce made before we left the movie theater. He was going to say that Cece and Rocky look good together. I just wonder, would things be different if Rocky wasn't my sister and she was dating Deuce? What if it was some other girl that Cece was cheating on me with? I would probably want in on that, huh? Hmm. Maybe we could have a threesome and stuff. That would be awesome. Ugh. Snap back to reality. I gotta stop thinking like that anyways. It's wrong. Just wrong. Cece is cheating on me with my sister. How long has this been going on? This whole freaking time when I thought that Cece and Rocky were just studying and working on their homework. Oh. They were studying all right, studying and exploring each other's bodies. Now, all that's left is to confront Cece and Rocky about it. Okay, that is the end of chapter two. Now, chapter three, the confrontation. Still in Thai Blues POV. I'm at school right now and it's really early in the morning, seven to be exact. I'm in the school's gym, sitting on the bleachers wearing my usual outfit. I didn't sleep too good last night, but I was still able to wake up early this morning. I, I usually don't wake up this early, but considering what I just discovered, I really felt it necessary to do this. I already sent texts to both CC and Rocky to meet me at this gym. They'll both be here soon, and I seriously doubt that they'll have a problem meeting me in this empty gym this early in the morning. Heck, I'm willing to bet that they were planning to meet in some private place so they could make out anyway. Rocky and CC have been sneaking around and hiding their relationship. They're hiding it from mom and dad and everyone else. That's understandable. But they were hiding it from me too when I'm supposed to be dating CC. They're playing me and that crap ain't cool. They should have been honest with me from the start. One of the double doors open up and in walks both CC and Rocky. They're both wearing the exact same outfits as usual. White shirt, white Nike shoes, white socks, and blue skirt. What's going on, Ty? What's, what is so important that we have to meet in the gym this early in the morning? You know that I don't like waking up this early, CC nags. Yeah, I know. 
but Rocky makes you do it anyway, I say. So what's going on, Ty? Are you okay? Rocky asks. No, I'm anything but okay. I'm feeling hurt, let down, and betrayed, all rolled into one, I say to them. Hurt, let down, and betrayed, all rolled into one? Wow, that's really serious, Ty, says CC. I say as I pull out Deuce's camcorder, turn it on, and play the video. I show it to both Rocky and CC. Their eyes suddenly grow wide. And I mean wide. They look like they're about to pop out. The heck? CC says as she and Rocky watch the video of them making out at the movies last night. Let's just say that I missed you so much, CC, that I, that I decided to follow you last night. Deuce tagged along with his camcorder and we were able to get you two on tape, I explained. You actually recorded us? Ask CC. You bastard. And Deuce knows about us too? Rocky shouts. Don't worry, we won't tell anybody. I say. Oh, you better not, brother, because if you do, Rocky threatens. I won't tell anybody. You can trust me. Even though I couldn't trust you, I shout as I turn my back to them and face the wall. Rocky grabs my arm and turns me around. Ow! Rocky just slapped the taste out of my mouth. Dang! And of course, I didn't say ow out loud you jerk for once in your sorry life you need to realize that this is not about you Ty Rocky shouts as I grab the side of my face that she slapped what do you mean I start to ask I was kicked off of Shake It Up Chicago remember and you became the host CC is really struggling with everything if she doesn't do good with her school stuff, she's off the show. You know that. And I do not want her to get kicked off the show like I was. It's been getting a lot harder for Cece. She needs my help now more than ever. And I'm going to be here for her. I'm going to be here for Cece. She means everything to me, Rocky says with, with such conviction. Dang. And why does she need all this extra special attention? Even to the point of y'all playing me and using me to cover for your secret relationship? I ask. Because I'm dyslectic. She, CC shouts. And my eyes grow wide. Dang. You didn't have to tell him that, CC. Rocky says. Why? I ask. Because it's none of your business, Ty, Rocky shouts. It is my business if I'm going to be dating a girl. Oh, wait. You're the one that she's dating. You didn't want to trust me with that, just like you didn't want to trust me with CC having dyslexia. What? You actually think that I would have treated her differently because she's gay and dyslectic? You thought that I was going to pick on her? Oh, come on, Rocky. You know me. I don't do peeps like that. I shout, because I'm getting real emotional with this. Dang. I have a lot of love for Cece, and I care about her a lot. And I care about you too, Rocky. And I love you. I would not treat Cece any different. And I would not treat you any different, Rocky. I love and care about both of you. When CC and I started dating, you should have told me what was really going on instead of playing me like a sucker, man. I say with freaking conviction. You're right. I'm sorry, Ty. I should have told you what was really going on. But if people find out that Rocky and I are dating, it will be pure hell for us, CC says. I'm sorry too, Ty. It was wrong of us 
to use you like that and lead you on, Rocky says. So, when did you two, you know, come out of the closet? I asked them. It's kind of a weird story, really. For a long while, I had been having some strong feelings for Rocky. Instead of just liking her, I started falling in love with Rocky, says Cece. And I fell in love with Cece a long time ago. I think for years my feelings for Cece were getting a lot stronger, says Rocky. Years? Wow, I say. It's really hard to explain. It's kind of like magic, actually. Soon I just woke up one morning and realized that I was in love with Cece, Rocky says. Hey, that's what happened to me too. I woke up one morning and realized that that I was in love with you, Rocky, Cece shouts. Man, this is weird, I say. Then a week and a half ago, Cece and I were in her room working on our homework. After working hard on it, we decided to take a break. I sat on the bed and then Cece just sat on my lap and wrapped her arms around my neck like she always does. I really enjoyed the feeling of, I really enjoyed feeling the warmth of Cece's body as I wrapped my arms around her waist and held her. At that moment, Cece pressed her lips on my lips and we kissed and made out for probably an hour or two, explains Rocky. Hmm, I don't know. It seemed a lot longer than that to me. But then again, I didn't really care because I was just enjoying Rocky's tongue in my mouth, Cece says with a smile on her face. Then I leaned back on the bed and Cece was on top of me. We held each other and continued to kiss each other. Then one thing led to another. That following morning, I woke up in Cece's bed with a with Cece on top of me. She woke up at the same time too. And that's when Cece decided to tell me that she was in love with me. And then I told her that I felt the exact same way about her, says Rocky. So I guess you can say that we kinda got it backwards. You see, we should have told each other how we felt about each other first, and then we should have, says Cece, but I interrupt her. Okay, I get it, Cece. That's when you two made it official, I ask. Yep, Cece is my girlfriend, says Rocky. Wow, hearing you say that just turns me on, Rox. You're my girlfriend too, Cece says excitedly. Okay, Cece, try to control yourself, okay? Okay, says Rocky. <laughs> Good luck with that. After what I saw last night at the movies, I don't think that is Cece that will have trouble controlling herself, I say. Ty, don't make me smack you again, Rocky says, just playing a little there. And this also explains why you two have been wearing the exact same outfits, I say. It was Rocky's idea, and I'm going along with it because I really like it, says CC. I really meant what I said before. I will not tell anyone about your secrets, about you two dating or CC's dyslexia. I say as I press a few buttons on Deuce's camcorder. There, I just deleted the video of you two at the movies last night, and Deuce won't say anything to anybody either, I say. You sure about that? Rocky asks. He's my boy. He owes me a lot. By the way, Cece, we gotta make it official. You and I are breaking up, I say. Technically, we weren't really going out. 
that was just a cover-up for Rocky and I dating, says CC. CC, their breakup is part of the cover-up, says Rocky. Oh, I guess that makes sense, says CC. Don't worry, I'll help, I'll help you both keep all this a secret, I say. Thanks, Ty, says Rocky as she wraps her arms around me and hugs me tight. I wrap my arms around Rocky and hug her too. Now Cece embraces and wraps her arm around both of us and we all just hold each other tight. I push open the double doors of the gym for both Cece and Rocky and I let them walk out first just to be dramatic and as soon as they step out of the gym and into the hallway a crowd of students are there eyeing us and looking at us all up in our business trying to figure out what's going on like they don't have any lives of their own geez among the crowd are Deuce and Dina Tinka and Gunter Frankie and his boys, and Logan, Cece's soon-to-be stepbrother. Yup. They're all looking at Cece and Rocky as they're walking through the hallway, holding each other's hands. BTW. It's okay for girls to hold each other's hand, especially if they're BFFs. It's guys that can't hold each other's hands. So... No one's suspecting anything. So Ty, what's going on with you and Cece? Tinka asked. Cece and I broke up, I reply. Whoa, Dina says. What happened? asked Gunter. It, it just wasn't working out, I reply. Logan has a grin on his face as he just looks at Cece and Rocky as they walk by. As I walk to my class, I'm just thinking that when Cece and I were going to start dating, I thought that Rocky was the one that was going to have a hard time accepting it, being that I'm her big brother and Cece is her BFF. But instead, it's Cece and Rocky that's dating each other now, and I'm the one that has to deal with the fact that my sister is dating my ex-girlfriend or my would-be girlfriend or maybe I should just put quotes on ex-girlfriend oh screw it oh screw that it's way too complicated to figure out all that matters is that CC and Rocky are dating and I have to help them keep the relationship a secret oh this is gonna be real fun man my sediments exactly, Ty. This is the end of this story, but there will be more to come soon.